So if you were to look up scooter valve adjustment, you find about 50,000 different videos showing on how to do a scooter valve adjustment. Shoot, I think if you look hard enough, about two years ago or so, my mom even made one. So in this video, I'm not going to be showing you anything new, except the tool that I use to get my scooter valve adjustments done. So let's hit it. <laughs> So before you even start messing around doing a valve adjustment, we want to make sure that our timing is set right. And that means the cam needs to be lined up perfectly with the line under the T on your bell here. So now that we see that we have that set, we're going to be working with our tappets here. So no matter what tool you're going to be using to actually adjust your tappets, you definitely need one of these. And this is a feeler gauge. And we're going to use these to measure the distance between our tappet and the valve. So I used to do this procedure with an adjustable wrench and some good needle nose pliers. So let's see here. I think that's it. But now the job's a lot easier with my Motion Pro Tappet Adjuster. Now I'm not going to be able to provide a link for this because the link is currently dead on Amazon. But when you look for it on Amazon or eBay, you definitely want the 9mm by 3mm. So normally you can find the information of setting your valve lashes somewhere on your scooter. But since this is a new engine and 180 cc's, I'm going to set my intake to 0 .005 and my exhaust to 0 .007. You always want your exhaust a little bit bigger than the intake. So what is 0 .005 and 0 .007 and where can you find that information? You're going to find that directly on the feeler gauge. So this one I'm going to use to size my intake and this one I'm going to use to size my exhaust. So I'm going to start with the intake and the .005 and the object here is going to be to get this feeler gauge to be able to slide with some friction between the tappet and the valve. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do it by hand initially to get it down there. And then you want to take your feeler gauge and see if you can get in there with some resistance on the pull. If you can't get in there, obviously you're a little bit too tight and it'll need to be loosened. If you can get in there and it's too loose, you'll need to tighten your tappet. But what you should have is a little bit of a drag when you pull the feeler gauge in between the tappet and the valve. So once you feel good about your feeler gauge settings, we're now going to tighten the tappet down. So I'm going to take my wrench and put it over the nut and the three millimeter post will go on top of the tappet and that will hold it in place while I turn the wrench and it tightens it right down. So then you want to use your feeler gauge again and check it and I'm feeling a pretty good drag there. So I'm going to tell you right now it's going to be a pleasure to do the exhaust for the first time without the engine being on the bike because it's a lot harder to do trying to get under that floorboard. So on this one I'm going to set it to 0 .007 until I feel that resistance and then again just tighten it down. And that my friends is how I do a valve adjustment. So I know I'm going to fire this engine up this week. I am waiting on my exhaust bolts that I'll need to get from the GY6 store. Hopefully he'll mail those out tomorrow. But other than that, I'm not going to film anything else. I'm just going to put everything back together and put the engine on the bike. So the next time I see you guys will be when we fire this bad boy up. And for everybody who already noticed that I have pre-drilled ports for an oil cooler, I guess you guys will have to wait and see if I put one on her or not. So until then, this is Kachi's Kid. I want everybody to have a great night. And you know I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.